Hey guys, this is Coral and welcome to another weekly update video of World of Custom Statues. If you are interested in any of the pieces mentioned in the video, just send me a message on the social media platform links in the description below. Also, if you want to see more photos, just check out the description as well. I got this museum type colossus available and ready to ship. This is of course sculpted by Franco Carlissimo. So you can expect some quality on the sculpt. It is only available as kits or unpainted statue, so you do need to hire a painter to have it painted. This statue comes with two torso, a torso stand, two portraits, and some hand switch outs. This Gambit vs. Sentinel diorama is ready to ship. This is sculpted by Franco Carlissimo. This comes with three portraits. Got one of these Sentry kit available. This is again sculpted by Franco Carlissimo. The photos you are seeing is not the actual product since uh, the one you're getting is a kit or it is unpainted. I got one of these Juggernaut vs. Colossus and Kitty Pride available. This is the last one and it is ready to ship. So just hit me up if you are interested. We have the prototype reveal for the Psylocke vs. Sentinel. Prototype came out amazing, very simple Psylocke statue, almost like it's a museum type statue, but you have a Sentinel hand as its base. We have the prototype reveal for the She-Hulk. It won't be long till this statue ship, uh, most likely, as this is a very simple statue, and production should be faster than usual. If you're looking for a She-Hulk statue, then look no further. This Venom final form is ready to ship, part of a museum series of Venom and Spider-Man statues from the studio. This is definitely not your typical Venom as he is quite muscular here. He is in his final form anyway. Doesn't come with any switch out, which means there will be no visible sims. This quarter scale colossus is ready to ship and honestly this is a very unique colossus to own and it honestly actually looks good as well compared to other colossus. I got one of these quarter scale Iceman ready to ship. It has fully translucent clear ice dragon as its base. A very cool easter egg of Thor's Mjolnir as well. Iceman is semi translucent as he has some ice looking paint on him. Finally, the prototype has been revealed for this Namor. It looked amazing, easily gonna be the best Namor around, licensed or custom. This guy comes with two portraits and a lot of left switch out arms. Depends on which head you want to display uh, Namor with. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for probably the most detailed penguin ever. This is obviously a museum type statue. There are a lot of textures on the sculpt as you can see. Very well built penguin, very nice small base and of course two penguin bodyguards. Penguin does come with two sets of arms and two portraits. We got the full reveal for this life-size Alex Ross Superman bust. Probably the first Alex Ross bust available in the market. Superman collectors definitely don't miss out on this. We have the prototype reveal for the Spawn and Batman diorama that was sculpted by Caleb Nefsen. This is probably the best Spawn paint I have ever seen. All Spawn statues should look like this moving forward. This is the first diorama of both characters Batman and Spawn. Of course, Caleb did a fantastic job on the sculpt. We got the prototype reveal for this quarter scale museum type flash. Gotta say this is the best flash statue, period. So great that a one third version of this is finally happening now.
we have the full reveal for this Harley Quinn's prototype. Gotta say, this is very impressive. Itinon did a fantastic job on the paint, especially the skin tone. Definitely one of the most beautiful quarter scale Harley Quinn's around. Not only that, she also has a very unique costume. We got some new prints for this museum type Wolverine in both one third scale and quarter scale. As you can see, they have fixed the head and it is now much more proportioned to the body. We got the full reveal for this Iron Spider-Man and of course its unique version, the black version. Pre-order is open, this one is already printed and the prototype will be soon. Comes with a lot of switch outs and even a smaller arm so it doesn't take up much space to display. Finally, the pre-order for the Scorpion that was sculpted by Caleb Nepson is open. It does come with four tails, three portraits, and two hands. So just hit me up if you are interested. We have the full reveal for the print of this old man Logan riding a horse. This is probably one of the most unique concepts I've seen in a while for a Wolverine or a Logan. But it is pretty cool to have him on a horse, adding more presence to the statue since it will be much more massive now. Logan does come with a right arm switch out and two portraits. Also, a new silicon hand sculpted Hulk is coming. There is no proper reveal yet, but its uh, prototype is in the works. Very nice, unique uh, Hulk to own since it will be silicon and again hand sculpted. Most likely gonna be a very good looking museum type Hulk once it's done. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for this Hobgoblin. It is sculpted by Caleb Nepson. The companion piece Green Goblin for this is also open for pre-order and that too is sculpted by Caleb. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for this very comic accurate Scorpion. This is sculpted by Caleb Nefsen and it can't be more classic than this. If you are looking for a Scorpion to complete your Sinister Six or Spider-Man Rogues, look no further. This old man Wolverine or Logan is ready to ship. Very unique concept for a Wolverine or Logan. Comes with some portraits. Just hit me up if you are interested. This Super Scroll is ready to ship. Comes with a lot of switch outs, flexing the Fantastic Four power. Very nice sculpt and paint in my opinion. Definitely one of the best Super Scrolls around. This comic accurate recovery suit Superman is ready to ship, comes with a lot of switch outs including those giant guns. This is probably one of the most uh, comic accurate version of a recovery suit or black suit Superman. We got more photos of the work in progress of the prototype of the Superman Jim Lee. We have the prototype reveal for this Galactus on Throne. Titanon did a great job on the paint, very vibrant as always. Statue definitely looks so massive uh, next to her. Actually, this statue I think would also sit well with the sideshow Thanos on Throne since their base is a little bit similar in design and color. Again, every information you need will be in the description below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future updates. And if you are looking for a different video to watch, you should check out this video right here. This is Carl and see you again next week.